All right. Thanks for being here today. Uh, got an email yesterday, probably many of you did, and it's regarding the all new uh, sound ID reference that they're calling it, um, which is basically what everyone was kind of thinking that Sonarworks was going to put in uh, or release the next version of uh, their Sonarworks reference. People that bought the Sonarworks reference for uh, with the microphone and the headphone, the studio and headphone edition with the calibration microphone. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily need another microphone or anything. So the next version was thought to be just a software update basically. And, you know, we had the, um, the, uh, Steven Slate, uh, VSX headphone release a few months back, uh, which a lot of people were, you know, blown away by R great idea. Fantastic idea. Steven Slate, their company always has uh, great ideas and uh, probably put a real dent into Sonarworks uh, sales after they released that. Um, did it totally kill it? No, because I think everyone was sort of anticipating Sonarworks would have something coming in the future, especially since last year they released their Sound ID app. This is just a really quick look at the uh, release notes and uh, and some of the features that Sound ID references now, which is pretty much Sonarworks Reference Five, I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, if you're interested in home studio recording uh, things like this, click that like button below, letting YouTube know. And then if you would like to subscribe, just click that red subscribe button, and the notification bell will let you know about more videos like this. But that said, let's have a look at Sound ID Reference. So, uh, got this email um, yesterday, like I said, many of you did, and it's talking about the new reference, and it's called Sound ID, so that's great. If we click on that, it takes us to our the Sonarworks launch page, and then of course, uh, you know, they've got a few people. Uh, Justin Coletti is uh, doing this video, and it's he's from uh, Sonic Scoop. Probably you've seen his videos on YouTube. Uh, doing, you know, Pro Tools training, lo um, Logic Pro training, things like that online, uh, audio mastering engineer. Uh, really good videos, by the way. Uh, Justin does really good content. So, and I've watched his videos and he's taught me quite a few things too. So, so he talks a little bit about uh, some of the features and a couple of the main features that everyone is really happy for is uh, shown right here. There's a lot of cool new features, but one of the most interesting ones I'm gonna say is this custom target option and this translation check option that have been added. I'll get into what those are about in just a second. Uh, basically a couple things that we saw there was uh, the feature set where you could uh, enter your own custom target and then obviously the translation check. So similar to what uh, Steven Slate VSX did, there's a way for you to monitor your translations now, your mixes, uh, how they translate to other listening environments like within a car or on your own headphones, let's say on your smartphone, um, earbuds, Apple earbuds, you know, whatnot, different rooms that you might be in, different vehicles that you might be in, different devices you're listening to your mix on, like your smartphone or your laptop. Uh, so fantastic idea. Basically, Sonarworks, what they've done is they've taken their uh, reference for software, which is, you know, meant for this in the studio uh, to calibrate your room to, uh, you know, flatten the EQ curve of the room that you're mixing in and allow you to he to hear things on a flat EQ curve, helping you make better decisions when you're doing a mix or uh, mastering. So that's great, but they never really had a way for you to trans, uh, check those mixes or translate it somewhere else outside of your bedroom studio, for example, or whatever studio you might be in. So that's where Sound ID kind of came in. And last year I did a video on it and I called it Sound ID from Sonarworks, my first impression. And basically this is what I had to say about their new Sound ID app. I guess for me, I have to mentally keep a note that says, you know, sound ID is for listening and enjoying to music. Sonarworks is for my mixing studio environment. So as long as I keep that mentality in my head, then it should be fine. But I'm kind of surprised that they don't have it built into Sonarworks and sound ID 
where it just says, oh, you're, you're not in your DAW, you're listening to music, we're gonna use Sound ID and turn off Sonarworks for you. It kind of works, but it kind of doesn't also. Okay, so that's what I had to say last year about it. This was last May I put the video out and I had a couple of issues with the Sound ID that they were doing and my issues were that uh, there was <laughs> like having Sound ID app and Sonarworks installed on your system, on your laptop, they didn't really work very well together. Um, the Sonarworks would, I would have preferred it if it was all kind of in one app or, or it saw each other in the app. And so if you were, you know, loading Sonarworks on your, uh, your master bus to hear what your mix sounded like after uh, all of your effects and whatnot, uh, your, your post basically, you would load Sonarworks. And if you wanted to translate that to how it might've sounded in the, your favorite set of headphones, then you had to shut off Sonarworks or, or something like that and then enable Sound ID app on your master bus as well and kind of go back and forth between them. Disabling and re-enabling Sonarworks, uh, many people who own Reference 4, it's not the smoothest process in the world. Uh, sometimes it crashes and you have to restart it. So what I what I had thought and what I mentioned in my video last year was that I wish that they were kind of they saw each other better or they were they were together where you could just click a button and it would disable the the flat curve of your studio and enable the sound ID profile that you created so that you could hear back on uh, through your sound ID profile how you like to listen to music. So like I said, one was like for the studio and Sonarworks was for the studio mixing and mastering and then Sound ID was for listening to that the way that you enjoy listening to music outside of your studio. So I didn't really like the way that that was. And the other thing I didn't like about it is that Sonarworks was expecting you to pay for that. So and, and on top of that, it wasn't like just a $50 app that you could buy and you were done. It was a subscription model but obviously that's not what really the end game that Sonarworks had in mind they did that just like they did the TruFi app all of the data that they collected with people using the TruFi app is how they developed sound ID and now all the data that they've collected with people using sound ID they took all of that data and response and now they've built it into sound ID reference which is for the studio and for listening to your mixes and translation I'm not going to sit here and say I told you that that would be great, but I'm kind of happy that they realized that <laughs> having the Sound ID profile plus Sonarworks in two different apps or plugins wasn't really a very good workflow. Uh, the other couple of cool things about it, um, if you look at the translation thing here, I mean, they've got some other cool features too where it talks about uh, EQ curves and you could... Um, you could shut off certain frequencies. This sound, this uh, sound ID reference is now an EQ, uh, so you can actually customize the EQ profile of your Sonarworks, which is again another really cool feature. I like that. Um, obviously, the best thing about it and the most relevant thing about it is being able to check your translations. Um, in the different settings that they have here. So they've got car one, car two, car three, car one, it says like a entry level car stereo, like what you would get in a Honda Civic or something. Uh, car two is more, uh, it says a sedan. So maybe something that's a little more higher end, like a Bose system inside of a, I don't know, Buick or something, who knows. And uh, you got different options there. And then they've got the uh, uh, laptop. So you've got like a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, um, whatever else have you, and then smartphones. And those are just average baselines. They've kind of averaged different devices out. So it allows you to use Sound ID Reference to use as a flattened curve when you're, mo when you're monitoring your mix. So you can make good mix decisions, or mastering decisions, whatever you're doing. And then you can use the translation check to check those without leaving your studio, which is fantastic, which is exactly what Sound ID should have been at the beginning. 
I kind of feel like uh, Slate, Stephen Slate kind of forced them into this a little bit. <laughs> they probably had not very good sales off sound ID. I don't know for sure. I don't have any data to back this up. I'm just spin, I'm just spitting it out here. Yeah, so anyway, I have a video that's gonna be coming out uh, in a little bit here about getting Sonarworks Reference 4 Studio Edition to work on my Mac M1, uh, the Apple Silicon. And it does work. I've been using it ever. I've been using it for a, a few months now. Uh, watch for that. And then, of course, uh, this is just again all of my just first impressions, uh, initial reactions. Paying for this, uh, if you were a sound ID or a headphones edition, sorry, uh, studio uh, Sonoworks headphone edition for owner, your upgrade path to sound ID reference is just fifty bucks. And if you are a Sonoworks reference for studio edition owner uh your upgrade is only 120 uh to get the sound id and and there's no subscription there's no any any of that stuff which i am very thankful for i think if you buy this and you create your profiles you shouldn't have to continuously pay sonoworks um that's about all i have to say about this uh hopefully i didn't ramble on too much i know i probably did i apologize for that um if you like this stuff let youtube know just smash that like button below and then if you would help the channel out just by hitting the subscribe link and the notification bell um yeah these are my first impressions i think it looks awesome i'm going to install it put another video out of getting sound id reference working on uh, m1 after i do the sonarworks 4 video so look for that and other than that keep making music